So the next trick is to get this page to display as our home page. Let's go ahead and go to the current home page and see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and click this breadcrumb here that says home. Okay. Interesting, we have some of the content from the page that we just created, but not all of it. It looks like it's just the first paragraph, and then there's a link that says read more. So I alluded to a couple of the settings that impacts how this page looks, one of which was the publish to home page setting, which if that was unclicked would not have changed this page at all. But because we do have some content now that is checked with that display on home page, it will start to display that content. And if we created more content, we'd see them stacked on top of one another, displaying short bits. And this is what the summary is. If you remember when we were editing the body content and we had the option to edit the summary, the summary part is what displays here. And since we didn't explicitly say what our summary was going to be, it just picked the top bit of the text and used that as a default summary. So what we need to do is change which page is our home page instead of using the default home page. And there's a simple way to do this. If you remember from a recent step where we changed the site name, we went to configuration up here and then clicked on a link called site information. And this is where we're going to go again in order to change which home page we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and click on site information. And I'm going to scroll down where we see the options for front page. Now notice we have some settings for the front page if we're using the default page, the number of posts on the front page. But we're not interested in that at the moment. We want to switch the entire front page. So if we go to the next setting, we can choose which URL to use for our default home page. So we have the domain here to give us a clue as to what the path should be. There's a slash here. And so if you remember, after we created our content, we saw the URL, which was node slash one. So let's go ahead and put node slash one in here for a default front page. And let's click Save Configuration. Once it's saved, let's go ahead and jump to the home page and take a look. Okay, now we have our full page that we created as a basic page content type on our front page. If we look at the URL, we see just the domain and a slash, which means we're on the default front page now. One advantage of setting the home page this way is that we get the benefit of using this home tab. And so if we click this right now, it will take us back to the home page and you'll see in the address bar that we're on the same page that we started on. So this goes to the home page. Now we didn't have to do anything specific to link up the home page that we just set for the home page with this home page link in the main navigation.